Hey YouTube, Mike here from Flip Flop Fishing. Thanks for stopping by. This video is a recent trip I took to Upper Lake Mary to do some pike fishing. I got up at 3 a.m. to be there at sunrise. When I got there, it was cold. It was 31 degrees when I launched and fortunately warmed up to maybe the low 60s uh, by the time I left in the afternoon. The water was a bit stained. Uh, visibility was probably a foot or two at best. Uh, most importantly, uh, there was very little wind to start the day, which is not always the case at this lake. Got something. I started with a daredevil spoon. I got a couple of bites but didn't really hook up on anything. I didn't really like the action of the lure so I switched to a chatterbait and got bit almost right away and then I got bit again and again. I was lucky to, to find a pattern so quickly. I got one. Oh yeah. Nice. On a chatterbait. I just tried this tight chatterbait on. <laughs> That's a decent sized pike for here, I guess. I don't know. Not as big as the ones I caught over last summer. Almost two pounds. I've only been pike fishing once before at this very lake last summer. I'll link that video in the description. So I'm just kind of winging it and learning as I go. I think the spawn is ending or just ended while I was there. The fish were pretty aggressive. I had the most luck tossing around what little vegetation there was near the bank edges. Nice. I just put the chatterbait back on. My God, these things are slimy. How do you hold on to these? A nice little pike. That one got it on the drop. It feels pretty decent. Nice.
Yeah, he snagged that one right away. Jeez, the hook went clear through his nose. <laughs> I just got a backlash undone, like my first cast. You're tiny. So cool looking though. When it got windy, I tried a jerk bait and had some success, but soon after the wind became too strong and it became really difficult to maneuver and fish efficiently. There was also a large wildfire that had started in the morning and had grown quite large by the afternoon. Between the wind and being worried about a possible road closure, I decided to call it a day. This is the last fish I caught before heading back to my truck. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> I didn't even feel, I kind of felt, oh, it's, I think he just figured out he's hooked. All right, well, the jerk bait does work. It felt weird. I knew something was up. It, it felt like he grabbed it and started swimming towards me. Because I, uh, when I was popping it, it was, like, really soft. Like, it was there, but something was amiss. I hate this new net. It's already torn. I'm sending it back. So the jerk bait works. I just put this thing on. That seems to be like what's happening today. Every time I tie in a new bait, I catch a fish pretty quick and then nothing. <laughs> All right. Don't bite me. Man, these things are slimy. I'm just going to dump it out of the net. I think that's my fifth pike today. There you go. That's probably the way to do it anyways. Sweet. So at least it was worth coming all the way down here. <laughs>